Hello everybody! Today's video is a sponsored video for MapleStory, which, uh, honestly I jumped at the chance to play because for a lot of people this was one of, if not their very first MMO experience, and I have so many friends and so many viewers who have asked me to play it or asked if I'm interested in playing it, so... I don't know, I figured it was a good opportunity to give it a try. Anyway, it's been around forever. I've been asked to give you a rundown on what they're calling their V update, which is basically like the biggest content and system update that they've done in years. Huge warning, this video will spoil zones, it'll spoil mobs, bosses that you'll see in this update, so if you want to go in blind, if you're a big MapleStory person, um, the first new zone, Arcane River, is available now to start just exploring. So the suggested level to be there is 200. If you're interested and if you're able, then uh, start start checking it out, guys. I'd also like to make it clear that I have never played MapleStory before, so I realize being just handed a level 250 character to just like start with, it creates a situation where I don't really get to experience the game, like what the game is, you know? Um, I normally don't do voiceover pre-recorded footage like this, but I spent, I spent like four hours learning this game and changing my key bindings a million times and seeing the new content and abilities and zones and trying to put a pompadour on a pig and... Oh my god, I can give him a... Oh, I can give him a freaking Japanese gangster style pompadour! <gasps> I had a lot to learn. I feel like I can give you guys an idea of what to expect with this update now. Aside from stuff like a UI update and more inventory and better link skill management and stuff like that, um, the biggest thing that people have been really excited about, I think, is the fifth job. So there are countless players who are level 250, which is the max, um, who want new abilities and skills. So there's what's called the V matrix system that they added in. It's completely different from the rest of the game. So essentially you have a grid with slots for nodes. And the nodes you get from node stones that you find and then you can go to a little dude and then he'll crack open the node stone for you and then you get a node and you can, anyway, you kind of get the basic idea of that. But most of the nodes that you get are gonna be passive buffs to the skills that you already have. Some of the nodes are gonna be new fifth job skills, including your super ultimate mega ability. I'll be honest, don't know what they call it officially in the game, but it's your super ultimate mega ability and I think you, you, get, you get the gist of it, right? So they gave me a few characters to show off. There's like a ton of classes. All of their ultimates and fifth job abilities are completely different, understandably, since all of the classes play very differently too. So um, yeah, I think everybody's gonna be really excited if you know, you're a MapleStory player and you've been waiting for these new skills and abilities, you're gonna be really jazzed to see how your character you know, gets to the next level. Also, side note, for any of you that are like, oh my god, 250 levels. <laughs> They've made leveling up to 200 way faster, so I don't know, if you're a seasoned player who wants to start from scratch, or if you're a brand new player that wants to just like get into the new stuff because you know there's new stuff, um, you can do that way quicker now. Let's talk about the zones because I loved them. The zones are super cool. I can't appreciate them as much as a player who knows the world and the story way better than I do, but aesthetically, each area is totally different. Um, the Arcane River is very sad and kind of somber feeling, and the inhabitants have no face, and the whole scene is really lifeless and dark, and that's the first area in, in all of this new content. So you'll want to be around level 200 to tackle it, but this is also where you're going to learn about a com completely other new system called Arcane Power. So Arcane Power helps you uh, kind of like strike through your opponent's defenses. Um, it's really essential to exploring all of the new areas, and so you equip these arcane symbols that you find in the new zones, which are little kind of area-specific baubles, and it'll help you increase your arcane power. So every time you find a symbol and uh, you add it on, it'll just... It stacks, right? So your symbols will just get stronger and stronger and stronger. They'll essentially level up the more symbols that you combine. Um, and each area has a little notice that says how much arcane power you really should have to successfully stay alive against the mobs that you're currently attacking. Anyway, so again, Arcane River is open now. You can play around with all of that stuff on your own if you want. And it's very... You know, it's very, it's very sad looking. The next area is not sad at all. It's like the complete opposite. It's called Choo Choo Island. And it's super adorable. It's a whole land of animals that are like crossed with food. I don't know, but it's 
it's precious. I made lots of really, really dumb facial expressions in here because all the mobs are so adorable and very mean. Um, so that zone is good for level 210 and up. It has really strong mobs, new quests, etc. And the last area is... Uh, what I think of as Mardi Gras meets Alice in Wonderland, it's called uh, Lash Lashlin, Lash Lashlin, Lachlan, Sarah McLachlan. I'm not gonna tell you what it is really or where it is because I don't know. I feel like spoiling that is really unnecessary. But there are chickens that throw tomatoes at you, so I think you uh, think you kind of get the idea. It's this totally bizarro world with really strong monsters and, you know, they gave me a pre-made super duper dude and I still had a lot of trouble. Granted, my rotation is terrible. I'm positive. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not like a pro. It was my first day playing and we had fun. This is also where you meet the newest boss, who is, to date, the strongest non-raid boss that you can fight. We got slapped pretty bad. There were only two of us, but we got slapped pretty bad. It's really surprising to me how completely different each zone is. Like, in a good way, because story-wise, it absolutely makes sense. Um, they're all completely different aesthetically, but with, you know, the same art style. So it wound up being really, really fun. I found myself inspired to go as deep as I possibly could, which sounds weird. But, you know, like, each, each section of the zone that you go into for the most part, has a new mob. Um, and each area had a, a very specific style of mob that that seemed to, you know, level up or get even more ridiculous or even more kind of creepy. And I really, really liked that. It made me just want to, like, keep going further and further and further in. And then every now and then this little thing would pop up being like, oh, you've got a, you've got a special thing that you should do. Maybe you should try to kill like a hundred of these guys. And I was like, fine, okay. They do a really good job of um, making you feel like you can never leave. Overall, I'm pleasantly surprised with Maple Story. I walked away from the session and I immediately asked Octo if he wanted to start brand new characters with me. The mobs spawn so much, you can just chill out and farm. There's basically Farmville inside of the game, which I refused to touch because I knew that I would never stop, right? Like, like that's that's the problem there. Um, and I wasn't able to get the pompadour on the pig, but I'll let that slide. If you're an older player who was super into it but had to step away for a while, or if you're a player who has never touched it but heard a lot about it and never quite took the dive, I think that you guys should check it out because a lot has changed. There are three different key events that are going on right now until the 27th of November. Um, they're all kind of like V-themed along with the update. So there's Play V Rewards, which gives you like maple reward points and red cubes and gachapon tickets and weapon boxes. Um, there's the v tracker event that gives you chairs and coins and armor and all kinds of stuff uh, in exchange for completing achievements inside of the game. And then they've also got the V coin shop so that you can purchase scrolls and skins and chairs and, and all kinds of stuff. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you so much to everybody that works on Maple Story that helped me out with this game. To all of you who spent like hours just hanging out while I was like, hold on guys, let me redo my key bindings just one more time. You guys are the MVPs. I really appreciate your patience and I can tell that you care a lot about your game. Um, and I hope that any of you who are interested in Maple Story will give it a shot. Thanks so much for watching guys. So long.